What would you ask of this humble merchant? Uh, not now, Fulcrum. And hello, guys, to some more Darksiders War Mastered Edition. Now, we left off that we still had to get 500 souls. And I know an easy way to do that. And that's about a special chest. You won't easily see or reminded of, be reminded of. Over here, you see on the map, me map in the right lower corner, there should be a chest. And even over here, it says there should be a chest. For the people who don't know, there are fire hydrants all over this level. And you have to destroy them. There we go, I destroyed one of them. But they're in total around, uh, let's think, six of them. Five on this side, so you might think, oh, I've gotten all the fire hydrants on this side, I'm done. That wouldn't be completely the case. Because there's one on the other side. As well, there is also an artifact that we have to collect to get all, all the uh, health shards and health and ref shards to gain, to possibly gain in this game. No, nope. And di ow! No, no! Shit! I wanted to give me your help. Give me your help. Give me your help. Thank you. There we go. Okay, now this is going to be quite an annoying fight. If I say most, if I say so myself, because we have to fight these enemies again. There we go. Hello. There's one on that side as well, but we're going this side first. I hate this kind of enemy. But I don't know, do you guys actually like to lock on with this enemy? Because I don't. Come on, come on. Nope. Because, yeah, like you see, I can dodge when... Oh, oh, Jesus. Yeah, that was not a good example of being able to dodge this attack. But, I normally can. And this bastard is dead. Look, there are enough health chests over this whole map. Like, one over there. And a fire hydrant that we have to destroy. That makes two. Four to go. All my health back. But yeah, those guys, you can fight them locked on, but for some reason, I don't like it. It's too stiff, and if you want to be mobile like me, like, dash away every time, this is just forward, backwards, and and diagonal, it's just, for me, just a real pain in the ass to do so. So I'd rather do this locks off. Other than, I think specific times, I just want to play all the time locked off. For some reason it feels just better for me, it might be really chaotic for you guys, but for me it is not. Over there, there's a chest that we're going to grab. Just going to <laughs> real quick about it and grab these salts. Now, jump into the water, and you can actually see over there an artifact that we have to grab. These ancient insignias were given to the legions of hell as trophies for the carnage of the end of the end days. Return to Fulgrim, and he will reward you 500 souls. It's a good currency to uh, gain some more souls for upgrade materials that you need. So collecting them is always, in my opinion, a must. Just more souls, more items you can get, etc. 
Alright, let's go to the other side and grab some of those <laughs> souls as well. And kill le or destroy the last four fire hoses. A oh, fire hoses, fire hydrant. The fuck is a f it is not a fire hose, it's a fire hydrant. There we go. MX3, three to go. Okay, that's I can see j just for a split second nothing. Look over there, the fourth one. Let's see, can I destroy it with a car? Out of my way. Oh, I can! But yeah, you see that one over there? <laughs> That's the only one I will destroy with a car. So I will go to the last two up close so that I can show you the exact location. And one, two, three, four, five. Oh, not weak enough. And we are destroying them by cutting them in half. Half. Jesus Christ, I cannot speak. Ow. Screw you. No, 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 no. I, how the hell do you forget? I can attack. I don't know why, I keep forgetting, if I don't have my if I don't use my sword, I don't think I can attack. But I can use this this, this damnable thing as a, as a weapon. Hey! I could destroy... Oh no, there's a one still... There are three of these guys, and there's a one big dude. I don't know what... Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Get away, get away, get away. We don't want to fight everybody together. Get you, and get you. And die. Uh, there's some chest of souls over here as well. But I'm going to grab that one less. Oh, wait. Yeah. Over here, there's another fire hydrant, but this one got destroyed in the crossfire, it seems. And here's the last one that we have to destroy. And there will be a magical chest appearing. We will grab that one later, and we first are going to get. Yeah, fight this big bastard. No, no, cut! Shit! No, 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 no. You, you, you. Yeah, you. I don't think I did much damage. Crap. Stay away. Use your attack from the distance. There we go. Because we don't want to get you close to a wall. Because that, that will be completely blocking nope, my path to attack you. Sh oh, that, that, that I call luck. Because that was just... Just close out of distance. Oh, I thought I had him. That was just in the nick of time. How much hits do you even need? Oh, you didn't go to your s to your instant kill animation. No, oh, that's why. Kind of wondering if I screwed up something. Nope, you die. You die. And I no, I don't want to grab. Put the desk down. That desk was made of rubber. <laughs> it bounced right off the, off the wall. I have 500 souls. I can return to Fulgrim. That's true. We have enough souls to feed Vulgrim's hunger. Now, maybe he'll feed our curiosity. Uh, yeah. We will get a fun item. 
that I never knew that you could use it in such a way. I will, sh uh, I will show you what I mean with that in just a bit. I'm just going to grab these souls over here. And then we can go. And bye bye. Demon. Yep, I'm going to grab this chest as well. I'm out of health. Nope. Throw that away. Good war. Some more souls, because we need we need a lot of souls. We need to get some upgrades to our basic attack moves and some other items. I might grind off if I'm further into the game between episodes to gain some souls and buy some items. Because otherwise, I might be underpowered at the end. Not underpowered. If I get the Abyssal Armor, then it might be overpowered as fuck. But, alright, let's get 500 souls. This chest will always contain 500 souls. And the re reason I know about that chest, like, I think I said, I said it, but if I didn't, I will say it again. I'll say it for the first time. I knew about the chest after I completed the game. I was looking up a speedrun to see how people could actually clear this game as fast as possible and if there were some th secret things that I forgot. Because I didn't get all the consumables like I said in the first episode. So I want to see if people uh, got some consumables that I didn't get for example. <laughs> and somebody showed that those fire hydrants, if you destroy them, that just will expawn and will contain 500 souls. So, that was quite new for me. These ancient gates have a mind of their own, but with this, you may reach an understanding. Beyond the gate, seek out Samael's prison. Once, Samael was close in power to the Dark Prince himself. Some might even say, a threat. You will find. He is no friend to the Destroyer. Seek me out when you've gathered more souls. I will make it worth your while. You sure will. Okay, let's equip it. Oh, look at that. Chaos Eater's almost leveled up. Hello, Sam. Uh, Samuel. No, that's what I had to go. Farewell. Just Earth Seeker, a masterful carved horn who calls awakens ancient gate. Press R T to activate the horn when equipped. Some creatures can be knocked back by the Earth color. Earth color's deafening blast. Yeah, that's something I didn't know. That I can use it like this. <laughs> Fus Roda! Fus Roda! <laughs> oh. The Fus Roda. Before Fus Roda was even a thing. Yeah, I looked it up. It, the game was made in 2010. There you go. Killed it. There's another chest over here. That I completely forgot about. <laughs> Just Fus Rodang everybody to death. Fus Roda! Fus Roda! <laughs> Fus Roda! 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 Oh god. <laughs> oh dude. I hope I can finally find a way how to utilize this thing a little bit better. All right, let's see what you have. On your what you journey, got. you may come into possession of certain items that are of particular interest to me. Artifacts of the Fallen Legion. If you discover any Legion artifacts, bring them to me. I will make it worth your while. Let's keep that in mind. All right, trade an artifact. Old has got something new for you. I mostly go with the scythe, 
you guys can maybe go with Weapon Master if you want to get bonus damage with uh, Kale's Heater. But I want to get my secondary weapon at least get it ready to go. Old Vulcan's got something new for you. The other you. thing that I recommend is upgrade Blade Geyser and Stone Skin. Take your time. In comparison to Emulation and Affliction, those two are not as good as Stone Skin and Blade Geyser. Blade Geyser is one of the most useful items when fully upgraded, and Stone Skin can help you in Please tough situations because of the awesome defense it gives. Oh, all the new things I can learn. So many things. Oh, I can even learn Meteor Strike. Mm. You I will do that. Drive too hard a bargain, friend. Ah, uh, Empty Vessel. One of the seven that I have to find. What would you ask of this humble knight? He has one, so... Alright, let's activate the horn. <laughs> Wake up! The horn call of my ancestors awakened at last from the dreamless sleep. Then, we are free. None are free while the Destroyer still breathes. The Destroyer, yes. To his service we are bound, though enemies we remain. So his enemies we call friend. Pass now, friend. Must bring victory. Must bring freedom. And on a kind of other note, I also remember something else, and that's about. If that was the gate. I can't wait to find out what's behind it. All right, go away, watcher. Don't interrupt me. But yeah, I remember also the thing that. I, there are actually four chosen bosses given by the uh, destroyer. The first one is Tiamat, the second one is the Griever, the Stygian is the third one, and Silva is the fourth one. And I only am not looking forward to this Tiamat now and uh, Silva. Those two bosses I can just F right off. For me. Let's use... Oh, crap. I should have focused on my gameplay just a little bit. Let's use the sign. Oh, this... No laughing allowed. There we go. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Let's get... Oh, no, no. Exploding. Okay. I don't think you can see it from up here. But over there, there is an... Wait. Ow! What? Where the hell did you come from? Get away! It's an artifact that we can get. But not at the moment. Oh, there we go, level up. A little bit more powerful weapon. We need an other ability for it. That we don't have at the moment. Over there, that that, that blue orb in the, in, the, in the sky is also an ability that we will get later. So, for now, we have to go and go the old route. Kill these fuckers. Nope. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate you bloated bastards. Oh, I can stun lock them out of it? That's something I didn't know about. That tells. That's something that hyper aggressive plays would love. Oh. And he's dead. Oh, 
Okay, there's zombies up there. Yeah, I think yeah, from here yeah we can see slowly that there's an artifact that we cannot get at the moment. Okay, there we go. Let's heal up. Because we have a boss fight coming up pretty soon. Open the door. This boss fight is like I said with Straga in the beginning. One of the and one of the bosses I just couldn't 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 do. I failed miserably. So it's it's great to see that I at least am able to fight against this boss at the moment, like with Straga. And even on the difficult, apocalypse difficulty. You know, a little bit more souls. Uh, I'm going to kill these demons real quick because these can get. Uh, they can follow you into the boss fight and will be in the boss fight as well, so. I'd rather not have them there. And killing them will give me a little bit of new souls that I can use to buy some new items. I'm thinking of buying weapon masks now, or after I kill this boss. Uh, if I'm falling off or be silent, I'm silent during the boss. That means that I am concentrating a little too much because I don't want to die. It would be kind of embarrassing that I would die already. Do you know what's imprisoned here? There are things Your even mom. you should fear, horseman. Once you were strong, but now you are weak and you are alone. The destroyer knows of your coming. Even Which now, coming? He moves his legions against you. Then I'll make this quick. Take this fool's life! Alright, this fight... Oh, crap. Yeah, I should remember that. This fight consists out of three phases. This is the first phase, just him attacking and then slamming his axe into the ground, creating a surreal attack. Side, oh, we're already right, second phase. He will summon eight of these, four at a time. And we have to just kill them. After that, phase three will begin. And that is him being super aggressive. But we will deal with that because I have something up my sleeve. I will take your head. Nope, nope, nope. Get there we go. When he goes into the third phase, you have to be Pretty. You need to look out for him. He can actually track you completely. I wouldn't say complete, completely, but it can be uh, handy to keep an eye on him. If you want to lock on in this fight against him on the third fight, be my guest. I I am not the person that uh, likes to do that. There we go. Yeah. There we go! Oh crap, I should have not do that. No, no, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. I am completely arrested on this boss fight. But there we go. I don't know if you guys saw that I used Blade Geyser during this boss fight. If you have more wrath than me, you can use it two times and this boss in third phase will be a breeze. So, I had only one chance to do it, but maybe you guys have enough wrath to actually use two times the Blade Geyser attack. Or maybe have upgraded it even once. Over here. So, it's not a really hard boss Just now that I go back me. to it. But, yeah, it can be quite difficult if you don't know what the boss is going to do.
because like I thought I thought he stopped attacking but he had another swing left in left in for me that I completely forgot about. So just keep dodging away until you're completely sure and I mean completely not like I was because I was half sure about that and I got hit by it. Be completely sure that he stops attacking and is completely done with it. Attack him as fast as you can. He will do a slam attack or block. And if he blocks, use your... For me, it is my scythe. Because it will go behind his block. War. It will destroy it. It will destroy it. here to play Executioner? They should have sent all four of you. I have no interest in killing you, Samael. <laughs> the Destroyer is beyond your reach, beyond mine. Has prison made you a coward? <sighs> Perhaps there is a way, but you will need to get inside the Destroyer's spire. The tower is guarded by four of his chosen. Bring me their hearts. And ask me no questions. My reasons for helping you are my own. Where can I find these guardians? First, seek the Twilight Cathedral, where the Bat Queen Tiamat has gone to roost. The whole of her domain is a blistered inferno. By land, you will never reach it. Find the high ground with this. And bring me her still beating heart. Okay. That's Samuel. And find Tiamat and take her heart. We got an ability, Shadow Flight. The supernatural wings enable war to temporarily glide. After a double jump, hold A to activate Shadow Flight and glide. The glide inside Shadow Current currents to soar high into the air. I think there's one current that we can already see from down here. I can, yeah, over there. And there will be a few that spawn over there as well. But let's end the episode on a real sort of good note. And here you can jump with Shadow Flight towards here. And find in Fulgrim location, which will be in Seth fast travel point. You in one piece. He must like you. <laughs> now, if you go up here, we will have a Wraith Shard. Or a Wrath Shard. Not a Wraith, a Wrath Shard. There we go. And like I said, we're going to leave it on at a good note. What would you ask of this humble merchant? Wait, wait, wait. I, I think I have thousands. Before we do that, what I want to do actually... Let's see. Oh, I don't have a thousand. That sucks. I will get a thousand before next episode starts. Look over here. <laughs> we can jump down here and get a special item that would be pretty useful. And... Don't be like me, like I did multiple times in the beginning, and jump and then what directly double jump and glide. Just wait until you're almost down, and then glide towards the path Farewell. that you see. Just like this. Okay, this might be not the best. Okay, that was just lucky. Just wait until you actually less uh, lower into this uh, place, because you can get stuck on the rock up rocks upstairs and then fall to your death. Over here we have a special item. Let's see what it is. Abyssal armor piece. A piece, a piece of a blood forged abyssal armor. Collect 10 to collect the set. And this will greatly increase the defense of war. And it will look awesome as well. But yeah. I think I'm going to end the episode right here. Like I always. I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to get your game on. Till next time!